What a week it's been in and around Sebastian, Florida. We had two shootings this week, one in Vero Lake Estates and one in Felsmere. Let's get right down to it. Here's your local news. Indian River County Sheriff Eric Flowers said 17-year-old Jamie Mosqueda from Felsmere shot and killed two 19-year-olds last Monday afternoon on 105th Court in Vero Lake Estates. Flowers said Mosqueda opened fire on the two victims over the sale of THC vape pens. He has been transferred to a juvenile detention facility in Fort Pierce, where he faces two counts of murder charges. Then, 24 hours later, a separate shooting took place on Lincoln Street in Felsmere. Officers responding to the scene found an adult male suffering from several gunshot injuries and needing medical care. The injured man was transported to Lawnwood Regional Medical Center, where he is currently in stable condition. Authorities have carried out two search warrants in connection with this investigation, and more details will be released soon. And now on to other news. Last weekend, the St. Baldrick's Foundation successfully raised more than $70,000 during an event at the Captain Hirems Resort in Sebastian. Among the participants were employees of Captain Hirems who voluntarily shaved their heads to raise money dedicated to supporting research for curing childhood cancer. The Paradoya Brewing Company recently added a new craft beer called Folk Slinger in honor of local celebrity Arlo Guthrie. Brewmaster Pete Anderson said that Folk Slinger is an English bitter with malt flavors and a smooth finish. And now for your Sebastian weather. It is currently 80 degrees. Nothing but beautiful weather. Today's temperatures are expected to peak around 81 with a slight increase to 82 degrees on Friday and climbing to 85 for both Saturday and Sunday. There's a 50% chance of rain on Monday with temperatures reaching 84 degrees, but clearing up on Tuesday after a cold front, offering mostly sunny conditions with a cooler high of 72 degrees. Fishing conditions at the Sebastian Inlet have been unpredictable due to the recent cold fronts. However, this week, anglers have noticed a slow uptick in fishing activity. This is mostly due to the colder water temperatures. We'll have a complete fishing update on Monday. For boaters, seas are two to three feet with a slight chop on the intracoastal waters all through the weekend. And this week is St. Patrick's Day and there's plenty of things to do in Sebastian. The biggest event is River Days at Riverview Park, offering craft beer tasting, a car show and much more. It'll be open on Friday, 3 p.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. There's also a kids fishing tournament on Saturday at Laporte Farms from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There's live music everywhere this weekend at Riverview Park, Captain Hiram's Tiki Bar and Grill, Paradoya Brewing Company, Mash Monkeys, and Earl's Hideaway Lounge. For a complete list of everything that's going on in Sebastian, visit us, SebastianDaily.com, and click on the calendar link at the top. Coming up next, another great video about Sebastian. For Sebastian Daily, I'm Andy Hodges.